Hundreds of Mainers will walk together in Portland and Bangor this weekend to honor those who have lost their lives to suicide and support those struggling with mental health issues. The Out of the Darkness to Fight Suicide Walk is organized by Maine's chapter of the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. And it's an opportunity to get the message out about the need for more access to treatment. New Center Maine's Vivian Lee shows us more. Suicide has touched George Magellis' life in many ways, especially after he started working in mental health as a licensed marriage and family therapist. I've lost friends, family members, uh, classmates, students I worked with, um, uh, clients. For George, those lives lost underscored the importance of ensuring people at risk get the treatment they need. <laughs> That's why he stepped up to chair the Greater Portland Out of the Darkness Walk to Fight Suicide. He and others are helping shine a light on a serious issue. According to the CDC, suicide was the second leading cause of death for people ages 10 to 14 and 20 to 34 in 2022. If we can find those resources, they may also become sad and depressed again, but they may not go to those steps because now they know that there's help. The walk starts at 10 a.m. at Fort Allen Park in Portland this Saturday. The Bangor Out of Darkness Walk to Fight Suicide will be held this Sunday from 10 to 2 at the Bangor Waterfront. Organized by Maine's chapter of the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention, the hope is to raise more than $160,000 between the two events. The money will go to suicide prevention resources and a number of different programs, including self-care initiatives for Maine students and school staff. Nick Marold is a programs manager for AFSP's Maine and New Hampshire chapter. It really reduced that stigma around suicide, and that's honestly due to a lot of the efforts that we've had through the Out of the Darkness walks, through all of our advocacy efforts, and really kind of getting into schools and kind of teaching kids that it's okay to, you know, not be okay. Come Saturday, there's going to be a lot of activity going on here at Fort Allen Park. There's going to be a giant memory banner people can sign and write messages to loved ones. There also will be honor beads available. Each one will represent a family member or a friend lost to suicide. Powerful messages of love and support to let people at risk for suicide know they are not alone. In Portland, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine.